Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Wow, Javante Tank Davis destroys Hugo Ruiz in the first round. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification, gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the channel members. We working, you know, and the Patreon family. Now, not much to break down. You know, Javante Tank Davis, he went and annihilated Hugo Ruiz. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. Um, a guy coming up in weight, but had a big frame, and he literally went out there like a sharpshooter, picked a man apart, and showed him, you know, this. there's levels to this. He was landing some some mean, malicious shots. I, this is what I like about Tank, man. He, he's quiet. You know, when he's around his crowd, his, his, his boys and stuff, he opens up a little bit more. But he's a silent killer like you don't do you know sometimes he has these wars on um social media with fighters and stuff like that but he, he lets his hands do the talking um came out to the thriller you know we got to talk about the other stuff because the fight didn't really last that long came out to thriller you know i thought that was i'm a huge michael jackson fan so you know that was up my alley i thought it was dope and i, I think more fighters should utilize the elaborate ring entrances like the prince nasim hameds and the floyd mayweathers and stuff like that it makes it fun especially when you're like touted as like the next big thing and a prospect you know adrian broner has some fun ring walks he used to come out with kendrick lamar rap on his way out and dance and stuff like that just gets wakes the crowd up stuff like that so um tank is definitely a star people drake was there meek mill um beckham odell was there odell beckham just different people he brought out a good crowd and they came to see him and this wasn't even the initial fight that it was supposed to be definitely has the star power both stylistically he just has to you know keep his head screwed on and stay disciplined but i like what i seen tank he fights like wiser than his years you know you match him up with like the lomachenko's you match him up with the ryan garcia's these are all great fights you know tank has for real power he's a sharpshooter what i liked in the hugo ruiz fight tank came out authoritative you know don't let you know a tall guy who's not supposed to even be here just with the what everything that happened to abnamada is get any type of confidence he came out pumping the jab bop, bop. that was the first tank threw the first punch of this whole fight you know came out popping the jab bop bop and he kept walking the the taller man down don't let him get into a rhythm and one thing that you you forget how young tank is based on it's like kind of like what you would see from from a floyd mayweather or a vet is his body attack he was sending a lot of straight shots straight to the solar plexus straight to the belly button it reminds me of like mike tyson punch out the fighter i think it was king hippo with the the cross the x tape you know on his navel or whatever and you punch him right there that's what tank was doing excellent maneuver for a taller fighter break break him down you know this guy had a lot of knockouts you know albeit in a, a smaller division and he is probably a warrior you know a warrior type that's what they were advertising him as so you discourage him earlier look like tank broke his nose to be honest because this shit was leaking you know he got hit with uh, i think it was a couple punches then a left hook and then he had kind of a short delayed reaction took a knee got up he, he didn't want no more like he was just he wasn't ready you know levels that's it is what it is so shout out to hugo ruiz for signing up you know i know tank is going to get a lot of hate now and people are going to blame him fuck that you're not going to blame tank how are you going to blame tank because his opponent abnamadas you know had an injury it just makes no sense they had to save the car tickets were already sold and the show must go on no disrespect to abnormatis i wish him a speedy recovery and you know no i'm glad that abnormatis pulled out of the fight because you see the power is real with tank and if he did have a nagging you know detached retina and stuff that is not the person you want to fight and i think it was evident in this fight so it's good that abnormatis wife had the wherewithal to say hey you need to get this looked at because you, you don't want to fight a power puncher your health is definitely more important than this sport in our entertainment so it's smart that abnormatis 
you know, wasn't in this fight. I'm not saying that would have been the guaranteed outcome because I do rate Abnomatis at a higher level than Hugo Ruiz. I've seen more of Abnomatis, but again, you don't, you can't come into a fight with a pre-existing condition like that. And, you know, especially against Tank, who has power in both hands. So, you know, wish Abner a speedy recovery. Tank did his thing and he dispatched, he gave his, as a, it looked like the, the Liam Walsh fight, but Tank didn't look like ring rusty or anything. So, you know, we already know it's going to be. You're going to see people bring up Lomachenko, and try to hate and say, I hate the thriller ring walk and all this dumb stuff. Tank went out there, handled business, brought out a crowd, and it wasn't even the initial opponent he was supposed to fight. So I can't wait to see what's next. They're talking about him fighting three times. You know, the Tevin Farmer fight just got very interesting. You know, Tevin Farmer is definitely slick. He's a champion now. You know, there's just a lot of Machado's fighting tonight. I got to watch to see the outcome of his fight. It's just Bear Chelt. He's injured right now, but there's a lot of action in or around that 130 pound division. Great fights for Tank. You know, Lomachenko, these are all great fights in or around 130, 135. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, this is this is an A performance from Tank. I mean, he did what he had to do. There's nothing. I can't really, I didn't really see any defeat. It's not like he was getting hit with shit he shouldn't have got hit. He was going to the body on the taller guy. He was crowding him, walking him down, cutting off the ring. And people used to compare Gennady Golovkin. Hey, no, guys, man. You know, they used to compare him to Mike Tyson. I never seen that stylistically. I do, however, when people compare Gervonta Tank Davis to Mike Tyson, I see little mannerisms. I'm not saying they fight exactly alike, but from the stocky frame where they're shorter than a lot of the opponents they face to the malicious shots that they let off, the facial expressions as they're, you know, sending these shots, you know, I see more similarities there definitely than Gennady Golovkin. And Tank's power is for real. He had that man leaking in one round. So it was good that Jack Reese stopped the fight because it didn't look like it was going to get any better for Hugo Ruiz. So respect those. Respect to Hugo Ruiz for trying. Let me know what you guys think. It's on to the next one for Tank. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.